Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, uh, June 8th, and we got, uh, well, the big news for this week is the Fed Beige Book, which will be coming out later today. Uh, Bernanke did uh, kind of roll the markets yesterday, basically kind of saying that uh, inflation is kind of transitory, so basically the cost of commodities are up, but it's just more of a temporary basis. And the weaker dollar as well as the higher oil price, which is right. You know, if you look at the headline inflation number, it's not, it's, it is, looks high, but when you look at the core, take out inflation and energy and wipe that out, and the core actually looks pretty tame. So he is right in that respect. And basically he's saying that most of the economy will start doing its growth will be more in the second and a half to give it some time. There was no conversation about any quantitative easing three. So that, uh, because there's no talk about, uh, kind of easing three, and then uh, what what's going to happen? He's basically got to kind of leave it as is, see where things kind of uh, settle itself, so let's see where the dust kind of settles, so to speak. Uh, he's going to see what happens. So the stock market, of course, at the late end of the day, basically kind of sold off. Bond market rallied later in the day, which you kind of see uh, here in a bit on the bond market. And today, uh, basically, again, the Fed base book, so that could uh, be a market mover later today. Stock market's kind of down a little bit due to the news of yesterday. Uh, Europe is still kind of concerned, you know, with uh, Bernanke's speech as well as, you know, still concerns about their debt crisis going on over there with the possible uh, debt restructuring for Greece and what that may lead to later on. So those are some uh, of the topics out there. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the mortgage rates are doing and go from there. All right, so here's the bond market we were just uh, talking about, and we got a really nice little rally. Uh, yesterday, as we saw, we were down a bit, and as the day progressed towards the end there, uh, basically we had a nice little rally. As you saw, stocks uh, was up and then uh, closed down. So basically that money went from the stock market into the bond market, which helped us out, and we had a nice improvement in the interest rates. Uh, then today we had a nice opening gap, about 19 basis points upwards. Uh, we kind of close that opening gap here, so that's kind of nice. So we'll build some momentum here, and I think we're going to see some nice rallies coming forward. Uh, obviously, it won't be a straight line, but it will be uh, some a nice upward push, maybe pushing on the 102 here very soon. And right now, we're about three basis points for the day, but about 22 from where we left off yesterday. So we definitely have a nice improvement in the mortgage rates or interest rates uh, today. So. Uh, you know, I think long term we're going to be looking good. I'm feeling a little bullish for the bond market. Uh, Bernanke's speech yesterday didn't really paint a rosy picture for the economy, except for maybe second half he's figuring. And uh, but, anyways, uh, today's looking good. So uh, rates are better. You guys have a great day. And folks, I'm also a loan officer. If you're looking for a mortgage in the California the state of California, I can uh, also help assist you. You can uh, check out my other websites here at Mike, obviously at Mike's Daily Market Report and MikeBjork.com, even CaliforniaMortgageTips.com and the Mike's HomeBuyerUniversity.com. I have some great resources there. But uh, feel free to give me a call at 310-694-3544. I can do refinances and I also do. Um, uh, purchases. I can help you get pre-approved uh, to buy that next home here. So thank you and keep me in mind.